Tea Time with Maya. I'm Maya and mom's behind the camera today. Hi guys. And today we are going to do blueberry and why don't we, peppermint tea. Today we're going to do blueberry and peppermint tea. Um, I don't know what type of mint this is. Mojito. <laughs> okay, we're going to do blueberry mojito mint tea. Um, so like all the other videos, I'm going to tell you where they are native to and give you some quick herbal or medicinal remedies that blueberries are, are used for. Because we did a lot of peppermint teas already. Um, and then we're going to get right into showing you how to make it. And blueberry, as some of you know, was one of the first teas that I made and I got a strong color. That wasn't the regular tea color, so I am excited to see what this many blueberries will bring. Um, no, so she didn't use the lid to my saucepan, but okay. I am all about reuse, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> <laughs> and use mom's saucepan lid. <laughs> okay, so um, blueberries are actually native to North America. Uh, but they weren't in um, circulation um, to buy until about 1912. Uh, um, before that, they weren't a cultivated crop, but they were used by the Native Americans for thousands of years prior to that. Um, and they would forage them, eat them, and they were also used for the medicinal benefits of blueberries. But they weren't used by all of North America until 1912. Um, and yeah, blueberries are what is known as the king of antioxidants because um, they contain a lot of antioxidants, um, which protects the body from free radicals, which damage cells and um, can create um, aging and cause different diseases. Uh, it is also a laxative. <laughs> <laughs> because if you dry it, dried fruit and leaves are used um, to promote diarrhea, which also on this turn stops constipation. Um, so if you're constipated and you have blueberries, then you are able to have a stool. But if you are if you are naturally a diabetic person, I would not recommend drinking this tea, eating blueberries daily. Not a good idea. Um, it also helps with healthy bones because it contains iron. Phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, zinc, 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 and it has vitamin K, which is all a component of what makes a healthy bone. It also contains vitamin C, which is a strong hitter. It's great for your body and everywhere. Uh, and it also protects the effects of the sun and smoke and pollution. Sorry. Like cranberries, it also contains um, substances that prevent bacteria from building in the bladder, which is the vitamin C. Um, if you want to know more about cranberries, we have a video for that. And lastly, <sighs> blueberries help prevent um, inflammation. They're anti-inflammatory. Um, and the tea can be made of the dried leaves and help be an anti-inflammatory, or it can be made of the fruit and it can help treat sore throat or just regular inflammation in the body. Um, so yeah, that is blueberries. And so now we're going to get into showing you how to make the tea. Okay guys, so these are our blueberries. It's about maybe a handful. Full. It is about maybe a handful or, or half a handful. Of or it looks like one fourth. Thank a you. little that over was, one fourth. That's a better measurement, yeah. So we're just going to add the blueberries slowly so they don't pop out of the pot. Blueberries, not a random fact. Blueberries uh, get their color due to the amount of vitamin C inside. And um, it's a compound. I don't remember what it's called. but It's a compound and it makes them blue. So, well actually, technically they say it's purple. I could have taken the leaves off, but I want to keep the stem, because the stem has um, flavor too. Looks so pretty. 
And so we are just going to put this on the stove until it boils and then we're going to let it steep um, so it can absorb the flavor um, for about five to ten minutes. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is our blueberry tea. As you can see, it is purple <laughs> or magenta because, you know, blueberries aren't actually blue, but it looks so cool because normal teas are like a light honey color, but this is different. So I'm gonna pour it into this whack jar. I don't know what this is tulip. called. Tulip, it's a tulip jar. Oh, okay, close. Well, I'm going to pour it into the jar so you guys can see the full color. From all sides. This is about four cups of tea, and it is so pretty. Like my hands behind it, and you can't even. It's really pretty. You can't even see. Yeah. So um, you're not actually supposed to drink out of this thing, but uh, I actually poured it. So I'm gonna taste it. taste you can smell the mint and you can taste the blueberries it is not as sweet as the strawberry tea was without any sugar but it is pretty good I think you would add some honey maybe some sugar or some molasses, Did you put molasses no tea? Uh, well it is good it just needs a little bit of sweetener um, I think you guys should try it after you add some sugar and <laughs> but, I mean for what how for what you get it's a um, for the benefits you get it's a pretty good tea um i like it smells like peppermint and but it tastes like blueberry it's a weird mix but i think you guys should try it with sugar and <laughs> please like share subscribe and check out our other videos bye guys